Hey there guys, uh, welcome back to uh, Retrofile. Um, this is uh, part two of my uh, previous uh, video on how to set up your analog uh, DAC, um, particularly with uh, CRTs. I was having some, some issues uh, when I set up mine and I, I realized what I had done uh, in terms of not, um, you know, basically upgrading. But I thought I'd, you know, make like a, two, a two-part tutorial on Know, what kind of cables to use and you know basically um, you know what you need to do to set it up so these are just screenshots of um, you know getting my uh, mega sg console uh, set up but um, i also had to work on my um, super nt which was also um, you know the firmware and everything wasn't was not updated and i was having basically the same issue with with both consoles so um you know as you can see here i, I got uh uh well i got i got the mega um sg working with my uh my sony bvms and i also have like a crt on hand with the uh uh the cables uh, the appropriate cables for both types of uh, displays so i was able to just test it out and uh you know see how how that worked um you know basically i have a 5 bnc uh, to VGA or HD15 cable uh, by Monoprice. It, uh, it might, it's a similar to a Monoprice uh, cable. And then I've got a component cable working here on this uh, Sony uh, Trinitron. Um, and then just for fun, I, I, I connected it to my uh, my Plasma TV as well. So um, so moving over to the Super NT, um, you know, basically I uh, <laughs> I was foolish enough to I guess I originally thought I had updated the firmware and I, you know, I, I, I honestly, I hadn't really been, hadn't really been using it as much, um, this past little while before I started the channel. Um, and, uh, and I was getting a little bit more serious with some things. So if you go into, uh, you know, basically exploring, uh, the menu here, you'll see that, um, you know, like for my, my case, I still had the four, four point one. Uh, version. So the best thing to do is to update that. Um, you want to go over to the analog website and um, this is my first attempt at actually doing like a tutorial uh, like this. So um, just kind of bear with me. So you just kind of want to go over to the support area and you're going to want to scroll down all the way down to the very bottom and then look for, um, you know, the latest uh, firmware, which I believe was... Um, yeah, like 4.9, I think it was. Um, and uh, so you just take this file uh, and then you, you know, you just download it, you click on it, just download it to your desktop. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna actually unzip this file. Now, you could try WinZip. Um, I use uh, seven, um, seven zip basically. So you're gonna wanna actually install that um, and open it up as well, like download that, open it up. And then when you're gonna uh, move over to your, um, uh, the file that you get from analog, you're gonna wanna uh, right click and then use 7-zip to open that. And then once you're done, you're gonna wanna format an SD card. So this is just basically a screenshot of, um, you know, if you use the disk management system, you'll notice like I actually don't have the SD card connected here at this time. I just kind of giving you an idea of where it would be if you use disk management. Um, for some reason, for me, I can't, I couldn't be able to format it in FAT32, and I think that was my issue. So there's uh, websites that you can go to, um, you know, find some tools to be able to change it to FAT32. I kept getting external FAT or NTF NTFS. Um, in Windows 10 and um, that actually won't work. The SD card for analog uh, definitely needs to be uh, formatted in uh, uh, FAT32. So you can actually use this program called Rufus. I use this program to create uh, boot, um, like boot ISO uh, drives. Um, so you could you can download that, that tool and then once you're done, you can, um, you kind of boot it up to the screen, you already open it, I should say, and uh, you'll be able to find your file um, like that you saved and that you, it's like like the file that you got from analog and that you opened and you extracted it. Um, you'll be able to, sorry, um, once you've done this step in terms of formatting the drive, uh, the SD card correctly, you can be able to transfer this over, transfer that file over to the SD card. So what the Rufus um, 
this Rufus program is going to do for you is basically allow you to format your uh, SD card in uh, FAT32. So this is what it should look like. Um, I did use another desktop uh, in between these these clips here. Um, I just you got to use what family <laughs> what family one one system was being used by me and another one was being used by some family members to uh, just basically watch some television. So um, what I was able to do and that that machine actually has an SD card reader. So I actually took this screenshot from there and uh, this is what it will look like. You just format it in FAT32. Um, and then you basically just drag and drop from your, um, like wherever you got that, uh, open, um, file from analog and copy it over to the SD card. And then once you're done that, you just basically, uh, make sure your, your, uh, device is powered down, plug it in, turn it on. It will actually, in my case, it, it was red, it was, had a red light for a while and then it finally turned white. Um, and then once you've done that, um, you know, for me, I actually just, um, set everything up on my BVM now. So in this clip, you'll actually see, this is, a, a BVM FD20 F1U, I believe is the part number, um, the model number, um, the geometry, I haven't quite set it up yet. So you may notice just a little bit of, um, a little bit of a, I don't know what you call it. Something just out of alignment on the one side. I got to kind of mess around with it a little bit. Um, it was working fine with another system and, um, I don't know, I had some, some trouble when I, when I set this up, but, uh, anyways, I just wanted to show you how it works. And, uh, yeah, this is the, um, super NT working on a Sony BVM and, um, yeah, when legend of Zelda can't go wrong there. Right. Um, so anyways, I hope you like this, uh, basic tutorial. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to, um, ask me in the comment section below and, um, you're going to try my best by my best to do, uh, you know, more videos like this, um, in the future as I'm, I'm growing the channel. So if you have any, uh, suggestions, feel free to let me know and, uh, you know, please, uh, like the video if you like it or dislike if you don't and, um, you know, subscribe as well and, uh, stay, stay healthy. Thanks for chopping by.